made it to the moose camp. Uh, it's the next morning. We got here yesterday, set up camp. Uh, this is their first little tour out into the logging roads. Started a little late, kind of had a issue about coffee this morning. I wasn't leaving until I had some, so I got Nick B here with me, Mr. Davis. We got two slayers in there, corn and jidge. I got my trusty flu flu because I know there's lots of partridge around here. We're just going to try and find some tracks, get some good wind. Go in, do a bit of calling. Uh, we only got our bows, so we're gonna try and arrow one on camera. Got some fresh moose tracks in front of us. They're going right over top of some of the some of the quad tracks so I don't know if they're our quads or somebody else's quads but we are just gonna stay ready in case we see them are you gonna pass me that if you need to? I got Nick D here he said he is gonna film if it's if it's a far shot here we go we got Judge here ready for action we got the corn drive it <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps popping up all over. Yeah, so we got some. Well, they're still on the road. to a spot just found a lot of big tracks just down here this is actually where I shot my bull last year he was standing right there on the road so uh, we just happened to look right here in the ditch and there was a bunch of tracks they look pretty fresh so two of us are gonna we're gonna go in pairs two of us are gonna go upwind this way try and keep good wind two of us are gonna go across this way and uh, see if we can produce a corn here Specialty driver, we got Jig there, specialty shooter. We got Mr. Davis, he's just here to look good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just here to model. into the tree, got all our camera equipment set up, picked out the spot earlier today, we did a bit of scouting, the tracks around here, we're just sitting on the edge of this rock, show you guys, this rock here, there's a lot of tracks coming down and through here. the skitter trail. So kind of just sitting here. Got a big cut off to our left. Big thanks for John Boy for letting us use his uh, arm. Definitely making filming a little bit easier. I'm in my saddle. You can see. And then we got Mr. Five after seven pretty much concludes our first sit in the moose.
Moose Land, so probably shut her down here and as soon as it gets dark. Maybe we'll sit up here for a little bit in the dark just to see if we can hear anything cracking around. We can hear tone. I don't know. Probably I don't know, three 350, 400 yards over there. I can hear him calling. I guess he's probably right about there somewhere. And Jidge. Jidge is. Jidge is probably right up in there. We were looking for him, but we couldn't see him. No. That's the end of that. Okay, so um, our other crew, <coughs> the other part of the hunting party we were with, just got a bull. Um, Delby was the one that shot the bull. Looks like a two year old bull, and we're just gonna go over and do a little recording on the old ways on how we used to put up these tripod stands just to get the moose up. So we got it all rigged up. We're gonna try and get it up here. We got a couple quads holding it down. Truck is pulling. It's working. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, that not let go. On the bottom there. Yeah. The man of the hour. Keep the tie one arm and one log. One one hanging there. One the log. Lots <laughs> of young guys here. <laughs> Do we know some guys that work with wood? Well, how would we get it? How would we get a cinch? All that wood. Yeah, all that wood. All right, day three. Pretty foggy. It rained all night last night too. We're debating whether to go the tree or not or maybe just do a little bit of ground calling and stalking listening I just made some calls uh, ain't hearing much it's a little bit colder today though so hopefully something comes out with Jidge and Davis
looks like they're going to be moving up into the wind. So, we're going to try and loop around this pond next to us right there. He's a big bull. All right, we're gonna get on him here. We just seen those, uh, a bull and a cow. They come up into this bush right here. They come up over a hill. Me and Nick, I set Nick back here. We ran around, tried to get around, trying to stay, uh, keep, keep good wind. Uh, Jidge took off around the other way to see if he could head him off that way. We're all trying to stay good wind, walking into the wind. I'm sitting down here on this little cut. And if anything, they should be coming out right over here somewhere. Isn't going to leave his cow, so we're just going to have to try and get up on him and pretend we're another bull, so maybe he'll try and come fight. Anyways, I only got 40 minutes of run time, so hopefully it all goes good. Well, that's the end of day three. We had some action this morning. Uh, as you guys can see, we had a bull and a cow. They are just up on the other side of this hill. Pretty sure they went into this bush right here. So we've been sitting here most of the day on the other side of the hill, just calling, seeing if they'll come back out. Uh, no, nothing yet. Haven't heard anything. Jig is way around the other side. One of our other hunters, Justin, is just up on the hill right where they went in, so. Sit a little longer, and then uh, probably make our way back home, be back out here in the morning, so. See you guys in the morning. I don't know if I've seen anything like this before. Look at the wolf tracks. Look at how many there is. That's got to be a good pack of wolves. That's a good size wolf.